last ride of season in Mountain Creek. Only person here, everybody's late, half hour to an hour late. Trying a new cockpit setup, less back sweep, five millimeter longer stem. Should put me to more aggressive attack position. Shouldn't matter too much on a DH bike. After getting used to riding the Hanzo ESD, which is even longer than my DH bike reach wise kind of had to get a longer stem just to put me in a similar position but all my Hanzo have a 50 millimeter stem also taking a chill run down Greenhorn and Deviant on my first lap I'm gonna try to do as much of it without stopping as I can so this way when the guys do get here they don't have to wait too long see how it looks from the top but man what beautiful trees and colors doesn't seem to be a lot of leaves on the trail too we'll see how the condition is First blown out, even more than usual. First time hitting Phantom since I had the hardtail. So I trust you know what you're doing because I'm gonna follow you. You're gonna, you're gonna follow me, okay. <laughs> this should be good. You ready? Yep. It's scary because you can't see the landing till you're there. <laughs> All right, we're rolling in. You know, this was supposed to be a chill ride to end the season. Planning on mostly riding blue trails. Turns out I was riding mostly black trails. But don't let the black trail rating fool you. These actually are the fastest and smoothest way down the mountain. I don't know why it took me so long to put the two together. I was actually able to do nine runs today, which oh never God, happens. Typically, even with a downhill bike, if I really push, I, I can do eight, but six runs is my average. <laughs> Gotta readjust my levers. All right, let's go. Pipeline. Who's going? I guess I lead. Yeah, you can go first. There's a left turn, right? Somewhere around here. I think right here, yup. This is how you cut through. During the time of the year, or at least during this time of the year in the season, there's a lot of mixed conditions. So they actually did some work on the berms you got it. and eliminate a lot of the braking bumps. But in the wide open area was completely blown out. There were multiple times where I was glad I had the DH bike but missed the hardtail. All in the same run. For sure if I just stuck to the black diamond trails like Salvation, Dominion Pipeline, hardtail all day, every day. I was having a hard time clearing those jumps with the downhill bike, for sure. It's just so much easier to jump on a hardtail than on a downhill bike. No mistake about it, even with the faster rear rolling tires. It's making me want to look for even faster rolling tires and lighter tires. I know it never rolls fast like an enduro bike, but this thing just rolls really slow still. Oh. Ah. Crap shoot! I still got the water bottle in my pocket. <laughs> So close. 
let's send it on the first jump. Is that enough speed for me to... <laughs> oh my god, Jose, you're riding that shit mad high, yo! Oh, now they're hitting the right line. Much better. Oh, it's really fucking beat up. Holy shit! <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, wasn't sure about that one. And from this part of the video on, it is all tech. Now, I can ride tech, I just don't ride it enough. Therefore, sometimes you still see me get tripped up because I don't know exactly where I need to go. And even on a downhill bike, yeah, I'll do them, but definitely I am not a tech guy, that is for sure. the river let's go oh my god I didn't make it <sighs> did not make it oh my god it's the first time I ever stalled on there because I didn't start from the top I stalled out the top. I couldn't make it up there. That's why I freaking sped up. I was like, yo, I'm gonna get stuck. <laughs> That's the first time I ever got stuck like that.
coming up right here Oh my god, I almost got bounced off on that one. Yeah, yeah I almost bounced off. Yeah. Oh shit, there's a little snake. Yeah, straight. That's triple drop. Then where the hell is, whatever. We already hit it. Here is me ending up on triple drop, which I have never ever ridden before. I originally wanted to ride the twist and jack, but this kind of goes to show how little tech I normally ride. Peace. Never been here before. Where's the wood? There's wood down here. Oh shit, <laughs> almost stalled on that one. I just had enough speed to push through it. Where the hell is this? Okay, so you gotta go down that way. Okay. Straight line is straight over there. Straight here. It wasn't the twist, but should have looked at the map. Oh shit! Pedal strike! Okay. After doing nine laps on the bike, about how the bike felt oh, with the here. longer stem and the less back sweep on the bars, still can't really judge it. My right hand still hurts even all these months later from that rollerblading accident, so it's not fair. But since it doesn't feel any worse, it looks way sicker. I'll just keep it on just for the looks alone to be honest with you. There still isn't much oh, content yeah, left on the descent that nobody is, seems no, to be heavy. watching. I know these videos don't do very well. That's oh fine. God. Downhill bike yeah. is totally not my I'm niche. Tired. People watch me for hardtail content. I, am I also did not want to I end the day right on Upper Dominion. <laughs> but then Jose felt robbed because I am tired. he didn't clear it and he wanted to clear it. And I got talked into it. And obviously the run was horrible. But that's it for this year at Mountain Creek. Maybe I'll make more changes to the bike next season. But it really makes yeah. me miss, miss riding my hardtail. Right that now. is absolutely for sure. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.